Static 25, the issue that broke the camel's back. Up until this point, everything was running smoothly between DC Comics and Milestone Media. But with issue 25, everything came to a head. If you have given them pretty much editorial carte blanche to do what they want to do, they're going to do what they want to do. Unfortunately, that led to some conflicts with DC, especially near the middle and the end of the Milestone tenure. Guys like Dwayne felt this was our opportunity to actually make a statement about the characters that we're working on. They were going to make that statement, DC editorial be damned or not. It was almost inevitable that Milestone's envelope pushing would put it at odds with DC. That came to a head with the controversy over the cover to Static issue 25. It was a cover where the main character, Static, aka Berger Hawkins, was making out with his girlfriend. It was going to tackle the issues of young people having sex with a candor. But being honest about it, they were going to tackle it because they wanted to bring realism to their characters. The artist also put a condom on the cover, among other paraphernalia. The original cover showing two teenagers kissing with condoms laying nearby did see print on the inside of the comic. But what really stirred the pot was McDuffie's editorial at the end of the issue, where he called out DC and Paul Levitz in particular for interfering with Milestone's editorial decisions. Vice President of Publishing, Paul Levitz, over at DC, and he was like, you have to change or edit the cover. Dwayne decided the best thing to do there would be to run the cover because it's truthful and honest to what we're trying to do. So that issue went to press with a letter from Dwayne explaining that the issues that they had with DC about running the cover in the sake of artistic integrity, they were going to run that cover anyway. And unfortunately, things turned sour with DC from that point on. I made a set of decisions because they wanted to get the comics in the widest possible distribution. They really wanted them on every newsstand that we could get them on, not just in the comic shops. There was still a reasonable number of newsstands carrying comics in those years. Well, in order to do that, you had to say, all right, we can do certain things inside the books, but we're not going to get newsstand distribution. They're not going to put the books out if we have certain things on the covers. Wayne felt compelled to write an editorial in Static 25 about that, and I think he mentioned Paul by name, and I think he used the word racism somewhere in there, and then suddenly the bills weren't getting paid. Basically, Paul was upset about it, and I think they were squeezing Dwayne out. Dwayne, he was adamant about what he wanted to say. If this was going to be his one opportunity to actually speak truth to power in terms of what those characters were, what they could say, if there was a story element or an issue with certain characters that he felt can't be cut, has to be on there, he was going to fight for it to the nail. He was that kind of guy. Unfortunately, after issue 25, things were never the same. Static went on for 20 more issues, and it was Static 45, the Mobius cover. So there you have it, folks. Static 25, the one that broke the camel's back. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Peace.